Here's the Zero Z GFS model run at 1 p.m. this afternoon. We have a trough axis coming through the state at this point. That's going to be continuing to bring us a little bit of rain shower activity, mainly in our eastern counties. That'll slowly be ending as it moves off to our east. The western counties could see skies clearing by late in the day, but don't expect any sunshine, however, with highs mainly in the upper 40s through the middle and upper 50s today. Late tonight, the rain and activity will move off to the east. May switch to a little bit of that wintry stuff in our northeastern counties, and then another disturbance comes in behind it for Thursday. That could bring us even more rain shower activity across the state, with highs a bit cooler in the 40s to lower 50s. That may mix with a little bit of that wintry stuff again Thursday night in our northeastern counties. Still could see some lingering activity Friday in our far eastern counties. Otherwise, clouds in the east, sunshine in the west, with highs variable from the 40s in the east to the near 60 out west and that's going to still be the case through the weekend with cooler readings in the 40s in the east to near 60 out west but on Sunday winds will turn around to the south and west and here's Sunday here that's going to bring our temperatures up into the 50s east to near 70 west but it's also going to bring a storm system in that could bring us a couple of showers and maybe a rumble of thunder as well. Severe weather doesn't look that likely at this point. We'll keep watching it though. Monday looks to be just completely wet. A lot of clouds. That could keep our readings down in the 40s and 50s across the state with the amount of clouds around. Maybe a quite a bit of precipitation on Monday as well. We'll keep watching to see if we can get some decent totals out of that. But the rest of the week, Tuesday, Wednesday of next week, looks fairly dry and tranquil with readings in the 50s, maybe near 60, with temperatures slowly warming up ahead of this trough that's digging in by next Wednesday across the south and west. And with us ahead of it, that's going to bring temperatures up a little bit. But it looks to keep quite a bit of the active weather just to our south, but the system off to our west may become in what may come in toward the end of next week, but it's still a little bit out there, so we'll keep watching it. But we still have plenty of storm systems to go through before we get to that one. Speaking of the extended period, here's the 17th of April. We have still a trough kind of a cutoff type feature over the desert southwest. Main storm activity, one moving into the Atlantic, one over the Great Lakes. That could be reduced that could be producing a little bit of rain, maybe even some snow up in Canada, some showers and thunderstorms in Oklahoma and Texas. That could be severe weather setup, but it's 10 days out. We'll keep watching to see if that trend continues. The end of the forecast on April 21st, we have a system just about to move into the north and west. We have a system moving across the south, one across the Great Lakes. And that'll bring a little bit more active weather around here after a fairly tranquil period, it looks like, through the extended period. Temperatures will be seasonal to above seasonal levels, it looks like, at this point. But our confidence isn't that great as there's been some fluctuation in what could happen during this period. But the satellite image from last evening, we're not having to worry about fluctuations. This is cloudiness over the middle part of the country. Showers, thunderstorms with a swirl over the Dakotas. That'll be moving off to our east. And that'll be pretty much keeping the weather fairly active across our area, at least today. And maybe again tomorrow with another system. It'll also keep the winds up as well. You can see that with the watch warning map. Winter weather advisories across the Great Lakes. Frost and freeze conditions over the east and the mid-Atlantic and the Carolinas. QPF chart over the next five days. At least an inch of rain possible across our areas further into the Great Lakes in the northeast. With lighter amounts to the west and across the west and southwest as well.